Hello, I just want to show you how I solve an issue I had with the plant. Basically, it is um, a problem with a machine that's got an analog input full with noise that needs to be stabilized. I have recreated here uh, a setup. I have a S7 300 CPU with uh, an analog input rack, and I have a um, power supply, 4.5 volts with a potentiometer, and I have a radio that acts as a noise source, and these two are plugged into a analog input on the, on the CPU. The CPU is being monitored by a uh, PG, a laptop running that's the manager. I have made logic to average the analog value of the input and um, then show it on the variable table here. Right now I'm looking at the variable table values here. I have two values. First one here, the first row is for the average value and the second row is for the uh, the real time value here. And um, you see, it's pretty much they're pretty much steady. Once I turn on the, the switch on the radio, it's set to AM, so there's a lot of static noise. The volume is at maximum. I have an oscilloscope here showing me the voltage on the analog input here. It's basically another laptop running a uh, a um, oscilloscope program. So you can see once I switch on this here, you'll see how much noise and I'll boost the voltage. I have a lot of noise now. See, the scale is full with noise. I'm going to do the oscilloscope showing me a lot of noise. And here I have the, um, the average value versus the real time value. You see that the real time value is really flickering a lot. It's going as low as 4.11 up to 4.36, 37 here. So, um, it's full with noise, yet the average value is more steady. It's being refreshed every second. Uh, actually, in the logic, there is a counter that is incremented by the uh, clock bits of the CPU. So 10 times per second the value is added and then divided by 10 and then um, transfer to another uh, register. So it's been refreshed. Oh, oops, the screensaver came on. So um, of course you can catch up the noise I have on the radio is a lot of noise. So I'm just gonna crank a little bit less. It's gonna be less than that. It's a, remember the maximum values is a lot of noise there. I'm reducing the, vo the volume on the radio. Because I was actually injecting a lot of noise. So let's see, uh, right now the values are not as jumpy as it was before, but you can see the uh, the real time value is really jumping from uh, 4.22 uh, sorry, this is a touch screen touch the screen um, it jumped it's 
jumping from 4.22 up to 4.35 there. The other one stays around 4.28, 26, 27. So, uh, on the machine I have the planned, the analog input's really flickering a lot. So, averaging a value on uh, on the CPU will really improve the behavior of that. Of course, there's a lag, a one second lag. But um, I had this idea, and finally, I was able to to recreate uh, the conditions and build a logic around that. So, uh, pretty much, the logic is, is just a few blocks. Really, it's not. A few seconds. It's really not a big logic. It's just a counter here. Um, I hope you guys can see it because it's, it's really not the screen is not really that bright. But I'll post it on on Instructable so you can guys see it. But it's really a counter plus some other stuff here. Uh, a counter a a block. I downloaded from Siemens website to convert. Uh, integer values into real values, so it's a scaling function. Um, pretty much, I think you all know about FC105, which is a scaling function. This is pretty much the same. I have addition blocks here, and I have just this just f uh, five uh, mm, networks, five segments. And there's also uh, uh, two uh, three segments added into uh, OB100, which is the startup OB, uh, just to to give a, a kick start to the counter. It's just uh, at the beginning of the warm start of the CPU uh, S7300, um, there's a value transferred to the counter to you know give it a start. And every time it it, uh, it reaches zero, it will itself uh, re uh, set again to, to to 11 actually. So I'm I'm actually counting 10 values here. I'm adding 10 times per second. You see here you can see the the uh, 10 hertz uh, signal for uh, right here. I don't know where my finger is pointing. It's the 10 hertz signal for. CPU, so 10 times per second the value is added, and um, so you can get rid of some uh, noise on analog inputs, which is very common. I have seen machines with a lot of noise in the analog inputs because of the EMI, electromagnetic interference, and it's sometimes hard to get rid of that. I tried several things. I tried to use a shield, shielded cable. I replaced the analog input board, uh, but nothing worked. So I think this is a pretty much good approach uh, to that. So uh, I'll post it on Instructables. See if if it's useful to a lot of folk there. So that, that's it.